Hi, Dennis Ray here. There are a number of really good free Microsoft Office alternatives you can get, but I think the best one is Only Office. Let's take a look at Only Office and see if you agree. There are two sources where you can get the free version of Only Office. The first is Only Office's own site, and uh, you can scroll down, and there are links where you can download for Windows, uh, either 64-bit or 32-bit or older versions of Windows, and also for Mac and Linux. And then there's another source, and that is MajorGeeks.com. Uh, and here you can read this information about OnlyOffice. And then there are these links that you can use to download only office and I'll put uh, links for these websites in the description down below after you install only office and you open it for the first time it will ask you to create an only office cloud account you don't have to do that and you can continue to start using only office without having a cloud account the cloud account is actually the online version of only office. It is free for personal use with a two gigabytes of disk space. With the cloud account or rather the online version, you can upload and download documents and collaborate with other users. You don't need to have only office installed to use the online version and you don't need to have a cloud account to use the install version or you can go wild and crazy and use both. I did a video about the online version of OnlyOffice. See the link in the description below. In the main window, under Create New, uh, there is Document, which is the same as Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, the same as Excel, Presentation, which is the same as PowerPoint, and Form Template, which is a uh, same as you would find in Microsoft Word. Then down to settings, and you got a few there to look at. Not language, interface scaling, auto update mode, interface theme, open file, spelling language detection, and apply. Below that there are templates and there are plenty to choose from and you can search by name, type, industry, or you can look through them by category and there are plenty of categories to choose from. And in fact there are 215 different documents you can look at. They're sorted alphabetically and you can rearrange that or you can peruse through them and then it will list recent files that you've looked at they would be listed in this area you can open up a local file on your computer or connect to the cloud the documents app has a similar layout as ms office uh, not exactly the same, but close enough to easily get used to it. On the top, it has save, print, quick print, undo, and redo. And it has a ribbon view, which has the uh, same functions, uh, basically, as MS Office. And if you hover over the icons, it will tell you what they're for. And go each one of those and like I said has basically the same functions as Microsoft Office draw layout references collaboration protection view and in here uh, is gives you functions where you can change the look of the window to light, 
classic light, dark. Ooh, that's awfully dark. Yep. And then you can also change the look of the document itself, where you can make it dark or back to light. Plugins and has some really nice plugins that come with it. And there's also a plugin manager where you can add more plugins. And there are a number of them that you can choose from. As a Pythorosis, uh, draw.io, which is a really nice app in itself. You know, let that come up and with this you can make some different documents like a organizational chart, uh, floor plans, and uh, a lot of different things. Under file, you have a close menu, save, save as, print, protect, open, create new, and this other information, document information. And there are side panels, copy, paste, search, comments, headings, feedback, and then you have on the right, uh, all this information here, where you can make changes, advanced settings here, and you can hide that panel by hitting this. And you have a bottom panel, word count, and this information on the side here, spell check, track changes, fit to page, fit to width, and zoom. And then here's an example of a document. Uh, this is a document that shows what videos I've made for YouTube and you can see the formatting looks pretty good. And if I transfer this to Microsoft Office, the formatting will look exactly the same. So it is very compatible with Microsoft Office, at least as far as documents go. Here at the Dennis Ray Channel, we specialize in providing you information about the best free software available. So be sure to like and subscribe to continue receiving more content about excellent freeware. Okay, thank you. This is a spreadsheet app. And uh, just like in the Documents app, it's very similar to Microsoft Office's Excel. And uh, layout is similar. The icons placed in a similar pattern. So easy to get used to if you're used to working with Excel. And I made an example of a tools inventory in the spreadsheet. And uh, I opened this up in Microsoft Office and there were no problems with compatibility with the spreadsheet itself. And then in Microsoft Office, I made this chart and then I transferred it into only Office and opened it up and there were some problems with the chart. So we're, there were some compatibility issues and it took some doing to get this chart to work in only Office. And then this is a presentation app and uh, they're again very similar to Microsoft Office's PowerPoint and uh, laid out very similar. Easy to get used to if you're used to working with PowerPoint. And then I made, as an example, these slides. And uh, let's play this, shall we? We'll go to Home, go to Play, and hit that. Pros for only Office are that it's free, it's powerful, interface is similar to Microsoft Office, it has feature-rich tools, highly, mostly compatible with Microsoft Office format. And I say mostly because of the problem I had with the chart in the spreadsheet app. It's cons, it has a large install size, uh, 1.26 gigabytes. 
And that could only be a problem if your computer drive doesn't have a lot of room. And Visual Basic Macros created in Microsoft Office uh, could be a problem. So they need to be rewritten for only Office. And there's information about that online. Only Office will open PDF documents, so it's good for viewing them. And the site says it will edit PDF documents. Uh, I actually didn't find that it, that to be the case. Uh, editing didn't work for me. There are much better alternatives for PDF editors. See the links in the description below. That was the desktop version of Only Office. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take care. See you next time. Bye.